lots of children have epilepsy. Most of the, or two thirds of those children will have what we call generalized epilepsy, which means that the whole brain is somehow involved in the process of them having seizures. And those children are not candidates for epilepsy surgery because removal of a small piece of the brain, which is really what we're talking about, is not going to stop the seizures. So the first and most important thing is that they have what we call focal epilepsy, where the epilepsy is just coming from one place. We then need to be able to identify where that place is. So we have quite a standard uh, evaluation process that we go through with any child who's thinking about having epilepsy surgery. The first thing to say is that they have to be having seizures which are not controlled by medication, and that would be the starting point for an evaluation. And then if they have seizures which always seem to look the same, that might be a suggestion that the seizures are coming from one place. So we would then go through a process of evaluation which involves medical doctors, it involves MRI scans. The other thing we do is take uh, electrical tests from the brain, so we, we do something called video EEG where we would video the seizures and collect electrical information from the brain during the seizures. We also have evaluation with psychologists and psychiatrists and there are particular reasons for that to understand how the brain is working and whether those children might be at risk of other disorders. And then we bring all that information together um, with a group of clinicians and based on our experience and the results we can then decide whether surgery would be a good option.